welcome to my video. It's Billy once again. I'd just like to say a big thank you for all of your support that you've been showing me since day one, obviously of me documenting my HGV career. I'm always very touched and very grateful and I'm sure if you've been following me for some time now, you know that. Now, if you haven't come across me before, I am a HGV class one driver. Um, I've been qualified since late 2022 um, and I'm documenting my HGV career from my training all the way through to my, however long it may be, that I'm documenting my career for. If you haven't already liked, comment or subscribe to my channel, please do so. The link is up here or up here or somewhere down there. Um, your support obviously is much appreciated and always very, very grateful that you support me along my journey as well. And I hope these videos are giving you some value. That's the most important thing. It's getting a point across and I'm giving you an honest feedback from my personal experience within the industry and I hope it's helping you so far and will help you in the future. Now in today's video we're going to touch on a subject that I have briefly touched on prior to this video. Um, it's about trucking essentials. Now since I've become a class one um, haulage driver I did a video briefly before on equipment you may need and will need within the industry such as a sat nav such as an, a trucker's atlas and i'll leave a link below this video or above or somewhere along the lines on the screen now or below uh, for you to take a look at the video because if you're a new driver or looking to become a driver whether it's class one or class two doesn't matter or even seven and a half ton but especially if you're doing long distance and heavy haulage like myself um it's very important to have the right equipment for your wagon uh, and obviously if you're doing day work, night work, but especially if you're an actual tramper, which I do, where you're out all week and you're tramping Monday to Friday, which is sleeping in a cab and you're home at weekends. So I just want to basically touch on that topic and since I've obviously been doing the job, uh, there's a few other items that I want to share with you that I think is quite important to have, essentials to have in your wagon as a, as a driver. And I want to share that with you today because I think it helps you moving forward. If it does help you moving forward, fantastic. If you want to take a look at the equipment that I've got yourself and get any of the equipment yourself or essentials yourself, um, I mainly get a few of them off of Amazon, really straightforward to get to, get access to. Um, I'll leave a links or the links below this video for each item so you can see what I'm buying and what I've purchased. A few of the items have only just been delivered to me, so I want to share them with you today because I think they're quite important. So without further ado, let's show you the first one. Right, so the first one I want to show you is a head torch. Now, I'm not, I can't quite remember if I actually covered this essential bit of kit on my previous video. I don't think I did. I can't remember if I did or didn't. I maybe shared with you a different torch, but it turned out it wasn't the right one. So I'm sharing with you this one. This is called Headlight. It's one that straps around your head. Um, it's, it's powered through AA batteries, um, or you can connect it to the USB, the USB uh, connection in your wagon and connect it like that overnight. Now, a full battery with this will last me literally seven days. It will last me all week whilst I'm out on the road. I use it mainly for my morning vehicle checks, my end of day checks, and any checks during the day. If it's dark, it's a great bit of kit to have. You need a torch for this industry. It's very bright. Um, you can use it for emergencies as well if you break down, but look how bright it is. There it is. I won't blind you too much, um, but it does the job. Great bit of kit. Put it in your head. Even if not just vehicle checks, but even if you're doing any sort of work in the dark, it's a great bit of kit to have. Um, I use it all the time. It's about 18 pounds on Amazon. I have left a link below this video for this bit of kit. Go and take a look at it. It's an essential bit of kit as a HGV driver. You need a really good torch and a head torch is a fantastic bit of kit to have because then you have access to your hands as well. Um, especially if you're doing your back doors up, for example, you need a torch in the dark, whatever, stick it on your head. Close your back doors with both hands, happy days. It's hard to hold a torch and do it with one hand sometimes. Just an example, but great bit of kit. That's the first bit of essential kit you really do need, the decent head torch. The second bit of kit is this. Now you're probably wondering, what have you got here? What have you actually bought um, <laughs> for your wagon? 
Well, it's just been delivered. I ordered it off Amazon. And it is a Hoover. Now, you're probably thinking, why on earth have you got a Hoover? You're a lorry driver. No, well, if you are a tramper, like me, you're out all week, your living space is your cab. You wanna keep it as tidy, dust-free as possible, and you will get it dirty from time to time. Especially in the line of work where you may be working in forests, fields, dirty recycling sites, whatever it may be, your wagon will get dirty from time to time. So, a good car hoover does the job. Um, that's strongly recommended. I bought this for about 15 pounds on Amazon. I've left a link below this video. You do need one. I would recommend one because you've got different parts of the hoover you can use with dust, get into nitty gritty bits behind your seat. Your wagon will get dusty, will get dirty. Doesn't matter what line of work you do, whether it's RDC work, supermarket work, whatever it may be, it can be the cleanest work in the world. It still will get dirty every single day throughout the week. So a good hoover is an essential. I stick it behind the seat, it does the job. You get your other parts of it as well. No idea. Um, let your imagination go wild. USB you get with it to charge it, and that's pretty much it. Really straightforward, you get a pouch of it. You stick it in the pouch, and you're pretty much done. I can't zip it up. It does zip up, honestly. Take a look, left a link below. It's a good bit of kit to have, I would recommend it. Um, I've just bought it. Once again, I bought it from Amazon. Um, really straightforward, is a, is a tippy truck air duster gun. An air duster gun, basically. I've just bought it. It's still in the packaging. I haven't personally used it in my own wagon. However, I have used it in other driver's wagons when I was cab hopping. And this is a great bit of kit to get rid of any dust in the air vents, any dust within the wagon, any dust anywhere in your wagon. The tricky parts, you, you can even dust down your clothes if you need to. Great bit of kit to have, really cheap, not expensive. It's an investment. You can disconnect it, take it into another cab, and take it wherever you want to. Like the dust gun I'm finding is something that you should have in your wagons as well. I've left a link below. You plug it next to your seat, really straightforward. Your driver's seat, I think it is. And then you can sort of hook it in front or above. I'm sure different wagons have different connections. Um, but I do recommend the dust gun. I can't wait to use this. It's gonna make my life a lot easier. But I have used one in the previous wagon before. Great bit of kit. So strongly recommend a good dust gun for your wagon. Especially, especially if you're tramping as well and you live in your wagon. You want it to be as clean and as dust free as possible because you breathe this stuff in when you're sleeping. So you want your wagon being clean and dust free. You're sleeping, especially if you're sleeping in your wagon, is to get a decent pair of socks. You will laugh at these, these are more Christmas socks, but I actually use them to sleep in my wagon at night time. Um, especially when, if your feet are warm, your body's warm, as simple as that. Um, we have got, you have got auxiliary, to, auxiliary, auxiliary heaters in your wagon, where you can set your settings. I know on the Scania that I drive, you can set the heater up for a certain time of night to turn on and heat your wagon up when you're sleeping through the night. But a good pair of socks, you can't go wrong. So get yourself a decent pair of bed socks because if your feet are warm, nine times out of 10, you'll have a fantastic sleep and you're fresh and ready for your next day's job. You're probably guessing what this is, sat-nav. I have a sat-nav. Now I have touched on this on the previous video. I've got the TomTom Tom Expert 7 inch. You get the case with it. This is it just here. A fantastic bit of kit. It's done me the world of good. You get a USB, a USB port with it as well, or um, lead with it as well. You plug it into your 12 volt or 24 volt um, um, socket in your wagon, whatever wagon you may have, and it will charge it all day long, no problem whatsoever. I have also left a link below this video for you to get direct access to a good, decent sat-nav. Got, you've got Garmin out there as well, which is another popular sat nav but personally this has done me the world of good you can set your height restrictions width restrictions length restrictions you can set it up you can personalize it to your own wagon that you personally drive um, and it is a great bit of kit so i'll leave a link below this video for you to take a look at the tom tom expert seven inch uh, screen 
I've had a lot of questions, well, not a lot, but a few questions regarding the sat -nav. What's the best sat -nav to get? I've left a link below this video for this particular one. This is the best, I personally think it's the best HG sat -nav on the market. Tom, Tom I've got it to a T. They literally have it to a T. And what I like about this, switch your location services on your personal iPhone or Samsung, your phone itself, connect it via Bluetooth to your sat -nav, and you'll have constant updates on this sat nav every single day so traffic updates to accidents you name it it will be specific on your route your your um your routes planning now i'm not saying rely on this one million percent but 95 percent of 100 it does the job and so far it's done me the world of good when it comes to working on the roads so i do recommend this particular sat nav link below have a look at it a decent wash kit now you're probably thinking why are you showing me that I'm showing you this because get yourself on these wash bags. In term, in your wagon, you haven't got a great deal of space. We well, have got space, but each wagon will vary. To save you cupboard space, the good thing about this, you can keep all your wash kit in one location, in one bag, it's a travel bag. I've left a link below this video for a travel bag like this as well. That I, I've got all this off Amazon, um, really straightforward. And you can keep your toothpaste, obviously toothbrush, etc. All your personal items can stay inside. Nail clippers in there. I've got lots of stuff in there. Shaving gel. I've got L'Oreal Men Expert. Don't laugh. You've got, you know, you keep your deodorant in there, your shower gel, your razors, you name it. I've got everything in there that I need. I'm not going to show you too much, obviously, in there because it's my personal wash kit. On a serious note, it is a great bit of kit. So get yourself a good, decent um, wash bag, travel bag for your wagon, you can hang it up in your wagon, put it in the locker, it's out of the way, it doesn't take too much space up. When you've got all these individual items, your wash kit, everywhere in the wagon, it takes up, gets messy, takes up a lot of space. So look at that, it's a great bit of kit to have as well. I mentioned dust earlier on within your wagon and how to keep your dust, keeping your, your wagon dust free um, is really, really important. One thing I've noticed is when you're using the air con, the wagon does also the vents do get quite dusty within the wagon itself as well, especially if you're on dusty sites. Like I've been to recycling sites, I've been to power stations that, you know, uh, for example, recycling is in general waste. I've been to power stations where they recycle uh, different grade, grade A, grade B, grade C wood chip, for example, and it does get very dusty. And the dust tends to get clogged into the vents. This is called colour coral. It's a universal dust cleaner where you can actually, it looks like hair gel for men. It's not, but you can actually clean your air vents out. I've started using one in my wagon. This is the second one I've had. Um, you've got a keyboard there, of course, if you've got a PC, but you see here the vents that you can actually clean. You can clean the vents and get rid of all the dust stuck in, wedged into your vents. So you get a nice sort of aroma, aroma uh, smell within your wagon when you use it. And it cleans cleans out them, them vents and actually keeps your wagon dust free for a particular certain amount of time. You can use it more than once. You can use it as many times as you wish. I'm on my second one now, and this does the job. It's a great bit of kit. I think I paid about six pounds for this, including delivery, but it's a great bit of kit. If you hate dust and you're a bit of a clean freak like me, I do recommend one of these to keep your wagon as dust free as possible. You've got the, your electrics, your electric appliances, such as your kettle, You've got your, um, I haven't got my kettle on me in fact, it is in the car, but I'll leave a picture on the screen now, just here or here. I brought this kettle on Amazon, nice little black one. It's really, really small, um, it, it's compact, it's a travel kettle, it fits in your wagon no problem at all. You can store it quite easily. You need a kettle for making your brews, your tea, your coffee, etc., your hot drinks, if you do drink that, and most of us do drink tea and coffee. Um, once again, cheap and cheerful, didn't cost a lot of money whatsoever. I bought this off Amazon as well. I've left a link below for this particular kettle, and I do recommend this particular one. It's small, it does the job, it'll fill your brews up as much as you want all day, um, and it's a travel kettle. It's designed for the purpose of being a driver, basically. So I've left that below as well. I haven't got it on me now, but I have left a picture of it here, you can see, and um, the link is below. 
and I do use that specific kettle uh, and it's, given, it's worked wonders for me so far. The final thing I want to show you, so I mentioned your electricals, your, your microwave, your kettle, your, your appliances. Now to run these appliances, not every company, what I've found is not every company provide their drivers on their fleet um, an inverter. Now if you're not sure what an inverter is, an inverter is a piece of equipment that powers up, that generates that powers up the rest of your electric, such as your kettle, your microwave, any sort of other electric main components in your cab. The light, external lighting you may connect, such as LED lights. An inverter will give you the power for all of that sort of stuff, to cook your meals and cook your dinner, make your tea, your coffee throughout the day or at night time. Very, 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 very important bit of kit if you are a tramper. If you're a tramper, this is a must. I have personally taken this out on my wagon. It's very straightforward to take out. Um, I've got one of these. It's called a power inverter. Um, it's 2000 watts, power continuous. Input is 24 valves, output 230 valves. Um, it's got a USB output as well. It's a great bit of kit. I don't know the ins and outs of it, to be honest with you, but it's an inverter, it does the job. Um, this will connect to the back of your wagon. There's a connection, I can't explain it in detail, but there's a connection at the back of your cab where you connect the inverter to, which is to the main batteries, to the main batteries of your of your wagon, the main power supply. Um, and that, this will power up all your internal appliances, such as your microwave, your kettle, and you know, anything that you cook with inside your wagon or make brews with. This is a must if you're a tramper, you'll need one of these. Now, companies do provide these at a cost, or you can buy them yourself. I will try and look for the link for this particular one. Um, I'll have a look to see if you can actually order this on Amazon. I think you can, a bit weighty, um, but you can actually buy it yourself. It's your personal bit of kit. You can take it to as many companies, as many jobs as you wish. You can take it out of one wagon, install it into another wagon, and it's an actual central bit of kit. If anything, this is one of the most important bits of kit you'll need as a tramper on the road because it helps you cook your meals, makes your brews, especially in the winter when it's cold, you need one of these. I don't recommend you use a hexi cooker or nothing like that that I used to use in the military. You'll easily set your cab alight if you're not careful. You don't want to do that, health and safety. Get yourself one of these, fantastic bit of kit. Um, the price of them range from, I think they're from over 200 pounds upwards, but once you've got it, you've got it for life. So I do recommend you get one of these inverters. This is my personal one. I can take it anywhere I want to now, wherever I want to, take it out as many times as I want, put it back in as many times as I want. Great bit of kit, go and get yourself an inverter. I'll leave a link below to one of these. I'll get the link for the specific one if I can. If not, I'll leave one as close as possible to this inverter. It's a great bit of kit, all right? So hopefully that will be helpful for you. Um, apart from that, they're the additional items I wanted to share with you today. Um, because since I've become a HGV driver, tramper, um, obviously before I started, I had essential, essential bit of kits that I bought prior to me driving. Since I've been driving, I've learned more about driving, about the kit you need. And these are additional bits of kit I think you need as a tramper and as a HGV driver in your cab, especially if you've got your, your allocated your own wagon and you, that's your living space. So I do highly recommend looking at this, these bits of kit. Like I said, I've left the, link, the links below to these direct items. I hopefully they'll be helpful for you. If there's anything else that I've, that I've missed out, please comment below, let me know. Any additional items that maybe I've missed out that I need myself, because I'm quite open to listen to feedback and what other drivers use themselves. But I find this these items are really a really good bit of kit and they do make my life a lot easier when I'm driving all week and keeping my cab as tidy as possible. I think cleansiness and hygiene is really, really important because I've seen some drivers' wagons I've seen drivers smoking like crazy in their wagons. I've seen drivers in drivers' cabs and their clothes are everywhere, there's dust everywhere, and they've got sleep in these wagons every single day at night time. 
it's not good when you're breathing that sort of stuff. So if you're a bit of a clean freak and a bit OCD like me, have a look at this stuff. I've left the links below below this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's only 20, between 20 and 25 minutes long, um, but I hope it's given you some sort of value today. I thought it's quite an important topic to touch on since I've been driving, a sort of follow up really, but I think it's important to cover it because I do have questions around equipment. Um, and if it makes your life easier on the road and when you're living out during the week, I think it's quite important to, to, to look at it. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Your support is always much appreciated once again. And I hope you enjoyed these, these videos and, and, and the videos moving forward in the future. Have a great day and I'll speak to you very soon.